limited amounts of the COVID vaccine available and in high demand. Our investigative unit has been looking into questions a lot of people have been asking, questions about whether some people might be jumping the line. Here's senior investigator Stephen Stock. Paramedics, EMTs, and firefighters lined up last Friday at Hayward St. Rose Hospital. Some of the first people in the area to get the COVID-19 vaccine under the state's distribution plan. Among that first wave, NBC Bay Area news crews spotted Fred Naranjo, the owner of an insurance company in San Francisco. Naranjo is not a medical worker. Instead, records show the 64-year-old is a frequent political donor to local candidates, and he's a member of the six-person board of directors at St. Rose Hospital. First in the room, back in the line. This follows protests last week at Stanford Medical School, where several residents were outraged to learn that some faculty who had little to no contact with the public got vaccinated ahead of others like nurses and staff who did have direct contact with COVID patients. Stanford admitted that its algorithm got it wrong and apologized. Any computer expert will tell you garbage in, garbage out. Dr. Christine Castle is senior advisor for strategy and policy in a bioethicist at UCSF's Department of Medicine. I think it's a very healthy thing for the society that we've begun to talk openly about rationing and begun to examine those values. According to data provided by St. Rose, the hospital oversaw the distribution of 2,000 separate COVID vaccine shots. Of those, 35% went to hospital staff, including frontline workers such as doctors and nurses. 65% went to county emergency workers, including EMTs and firefighters. One shot went to board member Fred Naranjo. Naranjo declined to speak with us on camera, but in a telephone interview, Naranjo defended his participation, saying, quote, I haven't jumped the line. I'm at the hospital all the time, walking the halls, talking to people. The main thing I wanted to do is show people to take the vaccine and not to be afraid that it is safe, that they need to be protected. The leaders in these organizations need to really take Responsibility. Dr. Castle says, regardless of motive, video like this of people like board members taking the shot during the tier one distribution can be misinterpreted by the wider community. I will say it exactly sends the wrong message. A spokesman for Alameda County's health department told NBC Bay Area St. Rose is responsible for tracking the staff who reported for vaccinations. The doses allocated to St. Rose Hospital covered everyone they identified for this initial phase of vaccination. A spokesman for St. Rose told me that no other board members took the vaccine and that hospital officials made the conscious decision to include Naranjo in this first round of shots because, quote, he's been a leader promoting the safety and efficacy of this vaccine. I'm Stephen Stock, NBC Bay Area News.